So as we've talked about multiple times throughout these videos, the important part about social media is figuring out what's working, what's not working, and making it better so you're really engaging with your audience. The way you can do that is by taking a look at analytics. There are a lot of great tools in Hootsuite, and there are other ways to bring in the analytics from these other social media outlets. So we're going to get into that now. So now we're back to our Hootsuite dashboard, and you're ready to check out your analytics. Where you can do that is over in this left menu bar, click on Analytics, and that takes you into this report section. Now some of these are free, and some you have to pay for. I'm going to show you the free ones. So we'll start by coming up here to Quick Analytics. Now this is where you'll see the analytics that they're already creating for you. When you see this hourly, what that means, that's the, uh, when you go up here and compose a message and you add a link and it shortens the link, hourly is the extension at the end of it. So when you see hourly anything, it's referring to the links that you create when you compose a message. So when we're looking at our hourly summary stats, that means for all these messages that I've created, these are the summary stats for the links that I've been putting out through my composed messages. So for example, the one we've got coming up here, I can adjust my date range, let's say the last seven days, and choose which profile I want to apply it to. And now it's giving me the statistics uh, based on the number of clicks on those links I created, the hourly links. So whether I created a, a link from you know, Forbes.com or Yahoo.com or my own website, it's going to call it an hourly link because that's what it turns it into when I compose that message. So I can see a link I put out on the third had four clicks, one had two clicks here, one had six clicks here. You can also come down here and see clicks by region. You know, two thirds of these are happening in the United States, but I actually have a third of my clicks coming from other countries. So that could be interesting depending on, you know, what your business is. Over here we can see where are our top referrals coming from. Are they coming from Facebook or direct clicks on the link? And in this case, a third of mine are coming from Facebook and two thirds are direct clicks. Now coming down here, and remember this is just the last seven days, I can see what my most popular links were. So these are, if you're putting out a bunch of different posts and you're not sure what really is working, this is telling you what got the most clicks and this is probably the type of content you should post again in the future. Now to get a better idea, maybe we'll look at the last month. So we'll say previous month and apply. And now when you're looking at this graph, you can see something I did here really worked well. Whatever I put out on this date was significantly more popular than what I was doing the whole rest of the month. We had 19 clicks and 18 clicks. So let's go down here and see what that was. And it looks like it was one of our blog posts. So, or actually two of them. So I would go ahead and look at what these were. I'd check out when I posted them, I'd see what the content was, and that will give me a good idea of why these were something that was more popular and shared more often than the other content I was putting out. Next we can check out the Owly individual URL stats, so let's click on this. Now this is more relevant if you're using the same URL over and over again, so say you created a post and then you're going to post it now and then throughout the month. Uh, but we can look at it anyhow. So I'll choose an account, and this shows all my posts in here. So now we can click one of these links. It ends up in this blank spot up here. Click Apply. And as I mentioned, if you're using the same URL regularly, then you're going to see spikes throughout the time period. Um, or if you have something and people are sharing it, you might end up seeing it in multiple spikes as other people share it with a large network. In this case, we use this URL only one time and on one specific day, so that's where we'll see our spike in the stats. Now these other ones, Facebook and Google Analytics, 
are both uh, with the paid account, so we can use them through ours, but those are not free tools with the free account. One of the other free tools that you have is here under Custom Analytics, you can come down here to the Template Reports and choose the hourly Click Summary. So this is a lot of similar information to what we saw in the Summary Stats. Come over here and click Create Report. Choose the Profile. Continue to Report Builder. Now some of the neat options that you have here are, well for one thing you can put in your logo or the logo of a client if you're doing this for a client. Um, fill in all the correct information up here. And over here you can choose what to title it, you can describe it. You can also have it automatically go to yourself or any team members um, and you can choose to have it you can not have an email, you can have it sent daily, you can have it sent weekly, you can have it go twice a month. But this is a nice way where you don't have to log in and create this report every time. It's just going to automatically come right to you once you set it up. Now with adding these modules, these most of them uh, cost points and the points actually cost money. So you can buy points to go into your account to add some of these extras if you want to. Uh, but this is the one that comes for free and you've got it generally here and you just click create report and that's it. So now it sends you back to this screen. You come up to all reports and here it'll have some of the reports that you created. This is the one I just made. You can click on it and view it here. You also have options up here of labeling, sharing. You can export as a PDF or a CSV. You can print it and there are more actions here. You can edit, duplicate, delete. So those are some simple free tools. Um, a few other free analytics options are and we didn't discuss too much about uh, Constant Contact or MailChimp, but those are two apps that you can add into your stream. So if you come back here, go to your streams, so you can upload the MailChimp app and then your analytics from any of your mail campaigns will show up here in your streams. So this is a MailChimp example or the constant contact ones can also come in here. You can take a look at the analytics on whatever your recent emails were. You can see who opened them all right here in Hootsuite. So those are a few other free options uh, where you can add an app and use the analytics within the uh, program. Now we can take a look at some of the options that you have with a paid account and where analytics can help you there. So we're back at the analytics home screen. We'll come up here to quick analytics and the Facebook and Google are two tools that are available with a paid account. So we're gonna click on Facebook Insights. We'll take a look at one of these accounts and see what type of information it gives us. So you get your snapshot here, daily feedback. This is giving you metrics per post um, so you can take a look at how many people are talking about it, engaged users, the overall reach. This is even telling you what type of post it was. If it was a photo, if it was a status update, were you providing a link? So that can be really helpful as well. And this is actually the top 10 posts that we're seeing here. Additionally, you can see what area most of your uh, likes were in. You can also see likes by demographics. Are you reaching the, you know, what's your target age range? Are you reaching 25 to 34? Are you popular with 65 plus? That matters. So this is a place where you can take a look at that. You can also see how big is your female audience? How big is your male audience? So now you can see your likes and your unlikes. And as we mentioned earlier, checking out those unlikes is important as well. And if you're getting a lot of unlikes, it could be that something that you're posting is offensive or just doesn't resonate with your audience. You can choose to take that off or show it. Same with the likes. Down here you can see the language of your audience. You can see the source of most of these. 
and you can also download these reports. So as a PDF, CSV, you can print, and you can also customize this report. And finally, we have Google Analytics up here. This is one of the paid tools, and you can just hook it up to your analytics account. This one, we can come on down. We can choose the date range. I'm going to choose the last 14 days, click Apply. And another really cool uh, thing we've got here is if you have a Twitter account going along with whatever Google Analytics account, you can choose to see your tweets overlaid with the traffic to your site, which is really neat because you can figure out where the tweets correlate with more traffic to your site. And um, you know, even if a, a tweet is getting a lot of likes or attention, maybe it's not really translating into traffic to your site. So this is a, a neat way to see what's really working and actually driving traffic. This is just general site overview. It's the same information you're going to find in your Google Analytics account just right here in Hootsuite. So map, traffic sources, all that kind of stuff. What pages are getting the most views, um, how many views, that general type of information. And again, you can customize, print, or export this report. So just like the free accounts, you can also come down and do the custom analytics and create reports that you can download. Uh, they're similar right here, um, just about the same type of functionality. Now the interesting thing with paid reports is creating a new report. You can choose a template, um, you can go custom, and this is where you can add in some of these different uh, types of modules that have their own expense related to each of them. But if you're really interested in very specific information related to certain profiles, it can make sense to go ahead and purchase one of these and then you know maybe you have it sent monthly or twice a month or whatever it may be, but you're getting information that's really valuable to you. So that is another option as well in the paid program. So this is where you'll find all of your analytics data and of course the reason this is so important is you're doing all of this work in Hootsuite and you really want to see if it's making any difference in your bottom line. And this is how you're going to be able to do that, taking a look at these measurement tools.